Hey, how's everybody doing? So today, uh, yesterday we did the the Puerto Rican. I'm sorry. I'm not, hey, so uh, we did the Filipino pop up the other day. Today we're doing the Puerto Rican pop up. So um, Tori told me about this one again. So we're gonna check it out. We I guess we're technically reacting to food at this point. So I'm all for it. Um, Hopefully everyone's going well. I'll know more about this soon because I definitely want to know more. But today should be amazing. Get your fire golf. Put a fire in your game. Man, yeah. Let's see what we got in these streets. So we're going to the Taste of Puerto Rico. Aubrey, are you excited? Yeah. We went and saw... Filipino food. Now we're going to have Puerto Rican food at the Chinchoro Taste of Puerto Rico here at 13th and Howard in the Old Market. So stay tuned. We're going to have some good food. Amazing. Did you guys go to the? I did. We did. Ooh. 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 The music. Okay. Dancing skills, though. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. We here. We here. Puerto Ricanos. What are you going to stand up? Where we going? Where we going? Okay. It is. We're vlogging. Guava and the cream cheese, right? Mm -hmm. And these are the are these are quesitos? Quesitos. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then what's that one right there? The chocolate puff and guava puff. Oh or wow. Or pastelillos de guayaba. Okay. Right here we got the originals like quesitos and cream cheese. Okay. And right here we got cream cheese and coconut. Mm. And cream cheese and what? And coconut. Oh, coconut. Okay. Coconut. Nice. These are polvorones or like cookies. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Filipino. We have something similar. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's called well, it's it's because like a shortbread, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. ours is also called polvoron, so it's, uh, oh, it's nice. Oh, okay. And okay. then you have the coffee, and I then got coffee. and these then what's this right here? Cream cheese, um, cake and cream cheese oh, and okay. guava. Okay. And these ones are carrot cake. Thank you. And this is yeah. and your Grace, right? Yes, I'm Grace. Your Grace, hi, hi Grace. Hi. And this is your sweet Here's pastries. My page. Yeah, Grace okay. Is sweet very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. We got some stuff from Grace. Got Grace's sweet pastries. Check them out. We got. I got lots of pastries here. I don't know. Yeah. I know you got pastries. Oh, I got pastries. So these are the quesitos. You got the got the guava. Got the guava. Got the. There's cream, just cream, cream cheese. cheese. And then we got the puffs that have. These ones just have chocolate. What'd you get? You want um, yeah. Let me let me flip the camera around. What'd you like that? I got the same thing. As you can see, 
got a Let's see, we got the chocolate. We got, I, I made sure we got plenty of chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then we got the regular, got the coconut, guava, jelly, delicious cream cheese with powdered sugar. Do you want a YouTube video? Yeah. Do you want to be on it? Hey, what's your name? My little Shamrican. That's your Shamrican. That's just, that, that's, that's, that's William. <laughs> what else you got? Let me see. What you got? You got a bow? Nice. That's very nice. Handcrafted. And I got this. And what'd you get? What's that? It's a fruit lollipop. Nice. Let me see. Let me see. Let me get close. Okay. Okay. Very nice. What, what are, we, are, we, are we tasting it? Are we tasting already? The guava yes. puffs. The guava puffs? Where's that? I'm going to have to get in on this party because mm -hmm. I like guava. Guava is one of mine. One of my favorites. Oh, right. All right, so we have the guava quesito. Let me give it a bite. They got pastry melts in there. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. That's the good stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Is that guava flavor? I don't know what that flavor is. My mom knows. Jennifer, what do you think of the guava? But, mm. So, guava is good. Guava cream cheese. You can't go wrong with guava and cream cheese. So we have our food coming soon. I ordered a um, ordered some mofongo, some empanadillas, uh, which are little little baby empanadas, and then the, the hibarito, which is a sandwich with plantain. Oh no, we have a pastry that dropped. Down, pastry pimp down. So sorry, so sad, so sad. What can you do? All right. Do not drop them, Jennifer. Waiting for the mofongo. We already got the we already got the uh, the ibarito here, and there's the we already have our empanadas. Empanadas. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. All right, so Travis, yes, my dude, we got yes. what here? We got Reino. I think I'm pronouncing it right. But yes, it's spelled R E Y E N O, if I remember correctly. Yes, so, absolutely. Unlike a chili relleno in yeah. most Hispanic, this is a potato filled with looks like a beef. Beef and uh, looks like green peppers. Looks like green good. peppers. Yeah. Mm. It is absolutely amazing. Angelina, mm. what's the verdict? I like salty stuff, so is Puerto salty? Rican's all about the salt. Trav, what do you think? I absolutely love this. Uh, it's like eating a french fry with meat on the inside. It's crazy. So is it kind of like the, the trifle in French? Something. <laughs> what? I also got a pina colada drink. Oh, she got a pina colada drink too? Non-alcoholic. No, oh, it's a virgin. Oh, so a virgin. A virgin. A virgin pina. That's all right. All right, go take your food. I'm not, we're gonna eat later. I'm still full. Oh, yeah, you later. Yeah, yeah. So, All right, then I'm gonna anyway, we're here at the Chinchoro Taste of Puerto Rico. We're just gonna eat that later. We're gonna be so full. We're here. They got music playing. We're here, old market area of Omaha. <laughs> Se escucha un tambor que por la calle encendida, mamá, oye, se escucha un tambor y entretiene de cara se ve a Catalina Lao con su danzo. It's been a good time. Weather actually held up. I was worried it was gonna rain, yeah. but it's been nice. Peekaboo. 
There's William. We're actually uh, having a good time. You having a good time, William? Good time. Dancing. Yeah, you're now you're sweaty. dancing. You're all sweaty. He's all sweaty. Aubrey, are you I having a good time? You're all sweaty. You're not having a good time? Did you enjoy the food? You got a new bow. What about you, Aubrey? <laughs> oh, you got a bow. You got a bracelet. Would you get a bracelet? Yeah. I'm telling you, man, this is part of the this is part of the fun thing about going to these festivals and pop-ups is that you get to spend time with the family and everyone's having a good time. We've got some good food. I actually took my food to go, so we're gonna be eating the the hibarito and the and the empadilla and the uh, mofongo later on. But we got we got some references to give out. We got we got chinchoro, the dandelion pop-up as well. Um, the restaurant is the Chinchoro Boricua restaurant. Uh, we got Gracie Sweet Pastries and we have some, some handcrafted goods over here too. So yeah, it's been a good time. And we got people singing out, doing music. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna cut, I think we're gonna cut this one good. What do you think? Yeah, my little Sam Reed goes my having it. It's all good. You know what to do. One of these days, you know what it. You know what to do, Tor. Give him the business. From your body <laughs> yeah, we did get a lot of food. So this is the boba that we just had to get on the way back. This is from Poke Boba House. And they had a lot of good food on the inside, but I just wanted the poke boba. There's the boba. There's just regular taro, because you know I'm all about taro these days. But we did a lot today, right girls? Yeah. Had a good time. The girls got regular boba. I got the taro, so thanks to Tori and to Travis and to every to William to Jenny Aubrey Kylie for this wonderful excursion today in today's vlog we still have to do our taste test of the food we got so you can see what the Iberito tastes like um, yeah and I forgot the worst part I totally forgot to talk about how was the food from Tinchoro well let's talk about it we'll start with the Hibarito and basically what the Hibarito is it is a sandwich if you're familiar with a torta, which is a, a Mexican sandwich, I believe, it's basically the same thing, except, except for the bread, uh, you're going to have flattened pieces of plantains that have been deep fried. So off the bat, the the plantains were fantastic. Uh, the, it was I did grilled chicken. The sauce that they have inside, um, I don't I don't know what it is, but it's really good. I'm not gonna say it's like a Big Mac special sauce, but it went really well with the lettuce, the tomatoes, and the, I think there was also onions inside. One thing I'm going to say is that we actually did come home and eat it, so we had to air fry it, because I don't do, I don't like to do microwaves with this, and, you know, the lettuce was a little wilted, but still the flavor was there. It was great. So let's move on to the next one, which is the empanadillas. And basically what they are is they are, I was thinking they were little small meat pies. These were not small. They were large. They were very large, like they were probably a good eight inches in diameter, and uh, they 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 were very large. They were very flavorful. The crust was fantastic. It was definitely seasoned and salted well. The inside was beef, and it had a really nice clean beef flavor with uh, some good seasoning. So uh, definitely definitely a good choice there. And then we end up with the star of the show, the mofongo. And basically, if you've never had mofongo, it is plantains. It is garlic and it's just very pure you mash it together in a mortar and pestle uh, and it's a wooden one actually that they use and they put pork and sauce on top uh, the sauce was great everything was it was a nice clean taste uh, definitely authentic the pork was the star of the show the pork was next level if i could say anything that was amazing about this dish the pork the pork was where it's at so I know they offer like a fried uh, crispy pork and also a chicken, a pulled chicken. But if you're going to get the mofongo from Chinchoro Boricua, get it with the pork. It's next level. That was the review. Awesome food from Chinchoro Boricua. Um, I, I don't know if they have an actual location, but if you know, if you follow them on Instagram, we're going to have the links down there along with Gracie Sweet Pastries. Check them out. Well worth your time. I'm excited. We got more coming. Sister, 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 sister,